Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic Church has been the center of spiritual life in Little Italy for almost a hundred years. Yes, Ellie Wagner is there live along with designer Joan Peters with more details on how they're preserving and restoring the church's beauty. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Ellie. Hi, you guys. Yeah, this is really neat. And I know um, in talking to some of the people around here that this has been a project that's been long in the works that they've gone and raised a lot of money for and are still accepting donations for. And in fact, um, they're holding services next door in the little building, but they're going to get their church back up and running yeah. here. And I have Joan who is here. And in fact, behind us is a great um, place to see exactly yeah. what is going on this here. Example was done a couple years ago just to inspire the congregation to, to give to the funds to restore it. This is what it used to look like, the darker area, and this is uh, is what it looks like now, and it goes, the, the sample went all the way down. But it really is incredible. In the olden days, there was no, there were no cameras or iPhones, so every single image that you wanted to see was was a painter had to paint it. So it's really an incredible system. What they did was there were three types um, in the olden days, like in the Sistine Chapel. It was they applied pigment to a wet fresco mm -hmm. to create images, and uh, just an incredible process. But then in the early 1900s, they began to apply oil paint to cured and dry plaster. So that's what uh, that that is what all this area is here. But then now what is more popular, if you look at the, Im the image with the blue sky and the man, that is oil paints that are applied to a canvas and then the canvas is applied to the wall. So our church, our, our Lady of the Rosary that we're in right now, it's really a combination of both of the latter two processes. Yeah, and you know what? You can see there's people who are doing work on this right now. I mean, this exactly. is, like I said, this is going to be a six-month process. It's going to mm -hmm. take them probably until Til June, June, right, to finish this. But when you're talking about restoring some of these pieces of art that have been here since 1925. Exactly. Oops, excuse me. You know, the, the artists here, these artisans, they're not only preserving what Fos do Tosca originally painted, but they are... Ex they have expertise and they're creating enduring works of art to stand for the next 100 years. So it's really a fascinating process, absolutely a fascinating science. Yeah, because, you know, you hear of this happening a lot in the churches over in Europe, oh, but to have one happening in our own backyard in San Diego, yes. I mean, it's all about trying to capture that image, trying to keep that image and yes. save it for the future. And, you know, you, when you stand in this church, you feel like you're in Rome. And as a matter of fact... If you want to see what this church is going to look like, take, go to the website OLRSD, Our Lady of the Rosary, sd.org, and you'll see the artist's rendition of what it's going to look like yeah. after it's all done. It's gorgeous. Very interesting. What a fascinating process and absolutely gorgeous. And really, you can see the difference right here on the wall, you guys. We're going to send it back over to you. Yeah, right, it's going to be you, gorgeous to see the, fun, the final project, you know, it comes to life and it's restored it like sure that. Does. It's beautiful. All right. Thanks, Sally.